Kentucky controls. Kentucky 35 and 4, Arizona 24 and 9 on the year. Dickerson on Mercer, not Davison Mercer. <laughs> Which by Simon. Bibby got a hand in there to steal it. Davison takes off. No whistle. And the blue retrieves for Kentucky. Great help by Turner because Davison's one of the best dunkers in the college game. Turner who moved to the point of SEC tournament time has been really successful. Nice help by Bramlett. Turner jumps in. Tipped up by McGlure twice. And stripped away by Dickerson. McGlure was ready to go up for a third attempt. Bibby in traffic. Scores the game's first point. Terrific. Crossover dribble by Bibby. He was under control the whole time and went by one of the best defenders in the game in Turner. You can see Arizona really getting out on the three. Mercer misses his first shot of the night. McGlure very active on the offensive glass. Turner off balance for Kentucky's first two. Jim Turner is amazing inside the foul line as a shooter. He is woeful behind the three and really doesn't even look to take it. But when he penetrates, he can shoot. Dickerson, whistle first, and they take away the main basket by Dickerson. It's so important that that man get off to a good start. He has struggled in March. Absolutely, Jim. Only four for 25 of threes in the NCAA. Here's the road to Jim in terms of how did they get there. And of course, those first two games in Arizona was behind by 10 in the second half in both of them. The largest margin of victory is eight. And there's Turner, not this time. That foul at the other end on Davison on the inside. Arizona will get the ball back. Kentucky, now while Arizona has won all tight games, the largest margin of victory for Arizona was eight. Kentucky's average margin has been 14, with Iowa playing in the tightest, the six-point win. Scott Patchett hit a big three late to help seal it. Simon, turn around. Inside the zone, there's Davidson with a quick leaping ability. One of the best players in college basketball getting off the floor quickly. So Kentucky hasn't shown their press yet because they haven't gotten in the mode to score and be able to get into it, but they've shown zone and man-to-man. -man. It'll be interesting, Jim, to see how much that game Saturday against Minnesota took out of Kentucky. Epps with the three, and he said yesterday, I love shooting in domes. And he harkened back to last year flying up in Minneapolis. And the dome up there hitting his first three threes of the night. There's the double down by Kentucky. Somebody's got to be open opposite. Arizona can't do it. Bibby firing back short. From behind, Bramlett reached in to pick his pocket. Simon pulls up and was hit on the arm by the floor. Jim, both of these teams are extremely quick. <clears throat> Kentucky had trouble with South Carolina, a team that beat them twice this year, with three very quick guards. But Kentucky has not faced this year a team that's got five players that can run like Arizona can. So that's going to be an interesting adjustment for Rick Pitino. Simon, the only returning starter from Arizona's team last year. Their top returning scorer and rebounder from 96. And 20-point average in the tournament, but really has been hot in the last two with 30 in the regional final against Providence to win the MVP of the Southeast, and 24 against Carolina Saturday. Arizona shows a little press of their own, but basically a one-man Bibby on Turner just making him run because he played 39 minutes, did uh, Turner, in that game against Minnesota, so they're going to try to make him run at all times. A little double on Epps. They'll let Turner go because he's not a jump shooter. Off the arms of Simon, 20 on the shot clock. 6-5 Arizona. Jim, that was an interesting defensive maneuver by Arizona. When Turner hits and goes away, they double somebody else because they're not worried about the ball being swung over for Turner to take a three-point shot. He's not going to shoot them. It's only 26%, though, as you mentioned, Wolf, for three. A nice maneuver by Lou Olsen. Five on the shot clock. Patchett left three for the three. Big mistake by Arizona that time. The one thing you cannot let Kentucky do is let Padgett spot up, Mills when he gets into the game spot up. 
Pep spot up. And that's his favorite spot on the floor. Davis is wanting the challenge. Now it goes over. Simon open three. On board to Dickerson. Good blocking out by Kentucky. Had it for a moment, out of bounds, and the other 16 timeout has arrived. Kentucky's hit both of its shots from behind the arc. This one by Padgett, and Kentucky leads 8 6. Here's what I was talking about in regard to Turner. Watch, he has the ball, he's going to hit Epps over here, and then he's going to come through. Watch what happens. Maybe we'll go for the double team, they'll let Epps alone. They don't care where he goes outside the three-point line. Excellent maneuver here by Arizona. I guarantee you Rick Pitino is going to see that. He's going to adjust and tell Turner to break inside like that and come back to the basket for a layup. Here's the full court pressure. There's not been a sub in the game to this point. Oh, a dangerous pass by Bibby. You want to keep that dribble alive at half court. Kentucky really rushing at Dickerson, Jim. They don't want to see him get started. Maybe gets tipped out to Simon. Dickerson, three. And tipped up by Bramlett. Had a good chance, but not that one down. Turner, an excellent rebounder. Doesn't mind going in traffic.
with Davis, and by this point on Saturday, he already had three fouls. Not much of a factor in that game, but a big factor in a win over Providence in the regional final. Silent screen for Dickerson. As a strip away, though, Kentucky off and running. Maybe with a quick hand, prevented a layup by Mercer. How about the speed of Davison to get down there to equalize the numbers when it looked like Kentucky had a three-on-one break? Rickett kicks it out, Mercer. His first basket of nine is a three to tie it. We've seen twice where men have left, in that case Mercer, left by Dickerson. You cannot do that against Kentucky. You've got to play your man out on the perimeter. Kentucky. There's the split. We'll be right back. 